Hey guys, we are working with Pythagorean triples today. Okay, when you are asked if a set of numbers is a Pythagorean triple, you're being asked, could these be the lengths of the three sides of a right triangle? Would they work? So to figure that out, we're going to use, maybe you guessed it, the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, I'm assuming you're probably familiar with this. If not, or if you need a refresh, I'll link a video for you in the corner where I go over this in more depth. Okay, but this is what we're going to use to determine if these are Pythagorean triples. Okay, we'll start right here. 7, 12, and 18. When I am plugging this in, the biggest number is going to be C. So in this case, 18 is going to be C. If this is a right triangle, 18, the biggest side would be my hypotenuse. Okay, so that's my C. Now these two numbers are A and B. It doesn't matter which is A and which is B. I'm just going to go A, B. There you go. All right, let's go ahead and plug this in. So I've got a squared, which is seven. So seven squared plus b squared, which will be 12 squared equals c squared, which is 18 squared. Now I have this set as equal, but I'm really wondering if they're equal, right? So I like to set a little question mark there because I don't know yet if they're equal, that's what I'm checking for, okay? Let's go ahead and simplify this down further. So I've got seven squared, that's seven times seven, which gives me 49, plus 12 squared, which gives me 144. And we're seeing if that is equal to 18 squared, which gives me 324. Ooh, not looking so equal, but let's make sure, okay? <laughs> 49 plus 144, gives me 193. And last I checked, that is not equal, right? So is this a Pythagorean triple? No. Now, this being said, if these are the lengths of a triangle, we know it's not a right triangle, but doing this can help us see if it's a acute triangle or an obtuse triangle. And I'll link a video about that in the corner. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and check this one now. Okay. All right, again, my biggest number is C, okay? So in this case, it's 17, and then these guys are A and B, doesn't matter which, so we'll just have those be A and B, okay? Plugging it in again to my Pythagorean theorem, okay? A squared, so 8 squared, plus B squared, so 15 squared, equals C squared, which is 17 squared, and again, we are seeing... If these are equal, so I'm going to put that little question mark there to remind myself, okay? All right, let's go ahead and simplify down. 8 squared is 8 times 8, which gives me 64, plus 15 squared, which gives me 225. We're seeing if that is equal to 17 squared, which is 289. All right, when I add this side together, I get 64 plus 225, which gives me 289 is equal to 289. Oh my gosh, that looks true to me. So 8, 15, and 17, yes, these are a set of Pythagorean, a set of Pythagorean triples. That doesn't sound like proper English, but we'll pretend it was. Okay, so there were two examples. One was not a Pythagorean triple, one was. If you need any other triangle videos, I've got lots. I'll link a playlist for you. Thanks. Bye.